Well then, Bunny, yes. it is time. It's time for the main event. It's time to confront Scar and take back the Pride Land. Yes. It's time to rescue the princess and get back the magic lamp, even though we don't have any wishes anymore. Yes. It's time to confront Mark about sleeping with Lisa. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> It's time to finally confront Voldemort, and it's time to finally throw that ring into Mount Doom once and for all. It's time to stop Ultron from destroying a fictitious Eastern European country, and it's time to get Dormammu to bargain. It's time to go to Phoenix and save Bella from, I don't know, the Hot Topic clan of vampires. That it, like I, I saw that like four times for the podcast, and two times because Natasha forced me to, and I still have no idea what any of that was. No. It's time to get the girl and stop the Kakanya, which, of course, is ancient Canadian for giant claw. The yes. woman, yes. The child, no. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is the way. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're all messed up. Stacy Jacks doesn't take a dump for free. Retarded means slow. Was he slow, buddy? <laughs> it's act three of the podcast, bunny. Act one is like the monologue. Act two is our regular segments, and Act three is the meat. Act three is the Act, act three is the is the shaft of the show. Yes, the shaft. Mm -hmm. And this week, Bunny, we are trying to answer a simple question, and the question is this: I hear this movie is good, but is it best picture good? That, my unconventional conventionists, is what we shall be doing uh, today. Today we'll be discussing the 2017 softcore fish fucking film, The Shape of Water! Thank you, thank you. And today I have some guests with me. Okay. To discuss The Shape of Water. With me is my niece, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. That's... Hi! And with me also is Destiny. Hi, Destiny. Destiny. I know you too. I know you too, Bunny. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so these two women are here to help me discuss. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of water, and the question is a simple one. Um, it, this film is good. Is it best picture good? Oh. But there's a lot more. To it. Okay. It, it, now, now I really want to hear your thoughts on this, Bunny. What yes. did you think about this? Okay. Um. See, it's 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 tough, especially with my relation to Oscar movies. Was it best picture good? No, because I enjoyed it more than that. Uh, best picture okay. good for me is La La Land and a lot of other shit that I really, really hate. Twelve Years a Slave, Brokeback Mountain, you know. Um, best picture movie is a movie that I just can't stand. And I kind of like this. Yeah. With that. I was not in love with it. There, there were there were some some off putting, and not just the fish fucking. You know, I, I, I personally, I rather enjoyed the fish fucking. Um, I wanted yeah. to see it become a new genre, you know, like like Arab. I felt okay. I um, felt like with this movie, Guillermo del Toro said, "Now see other films when they want a lot of whimsy." They put it to 10. That's as far as they can go. But as you can see, this movie goes all the way up to 11. Yes. 11, 11. It's like, Jesus Christ, just turn down the whimsy a little <laughs> bit, you know? So I, I, I like this, this movie. I am not in love. Okay. Do you know? What were your thoughts about this film? Well, uh, my comment at first is just that you said turn down the whimsy and all I can think about is all the racist scenes. <laughs> like, mm. Yeah, if we're going to turn something down oh. the racism, <laughs> the blatant there's one point in the movie where a bad proddle, cattle prod guy was like, God looks like me, not like you because you're black Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There General Zod. General Zod. General Zod. Is that General what Zod said that. Yeah. Strickland. His name was Strickland. Yeah. No, his name um, is General Zod, and Superman had to kill him. I, I do have to say, um, 
I love this movie personally. Uh, of course I did. But don't you have like a fishman fetish? Uh, no. See, that's not fair. I just have weird tastes. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> to that. Girl, so. But, but to that point, there is no. There is no quicker or easier way to establish your character as a bad person as him making uh, racist comments. Yeah. It's like when a professional wrestler would make fun of the town's sports team. Yeah. I'm a bad guy, so I hate the Phoenix Suns. But, I mean, I totally got it because it was supposed to be set in, like, a 1950s, 40-esque time like like an era, so yeah. it's, it's a very specific era. You know, you have the hate towards gays, you have the hate towards black people, and it fit. It was just really really hard to watch. Nineteen sixty two. Yeah, I think it actually had the date. You know what? My bad. <laughs> was it was it it's actually supposed to be nineteen sixty two? Yeah, it's supposed to be set in nineteen sixty two, but the whole during like the the Cold War and all that sort of stuff. But the whole film looks nineteen thirty nine. Yeah. Yeah. They yep. had they I had, had a, a real they had a real problem with their timelines. Even in 1962, they would not have attempted to put his fingers back on. That simply would not yep. have happened. We were nowhere close to getting that kind of technology. Yeah, you know, dude, mm, <laughs> so there, so might as well get two hot dogs and just tape them on. Also, another thing I didn't get this a little bit of the slang like a pussy finger. Yeah, you know, uh, we were actually talking about that, and uh, well, he says his thumb. Is well, let me explain. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's uh, which? His trigger finger is obviously his point, point, his point index, index, index finger. finger. So that leaves uh, his his middle finger to be the pussy finger. And De- Destiny and I were very confused, a little taken yes. aback, because if that is your pussy finger, then you are giving your girl. A whole lot of fucking knuckle in the pelvis, <laughs> and that mm, that's not fun. <laughs> you're you're practically punching her. Just well, it was the '60s. It was a different time. Yeah. See, I don't think that. <laughs> also, I don't think that plays into the. If you're gonna use one finger, use the pointer finger. Are you like? Okay. Don't use your middle finger as the one finger. Either use two or pointer. That's it. Okay. Or fist. Go on. <laughs> But <laughs> all or nothing. But look at him. Look stuff. at him. I mean, look at the person that you're talking about. Tell yeah, me oh, he does he not look like point. like he like he would totally <laughs> haul <laughs> off and belt you one I right in the middle of sex. Jackson, like what the fuck? I need to start trying to do that. Um, that's got to be difficult. I always have like an like an aim going. You ought to wash like your a... hands before or after, not both. It. You're weak. You it's a sign you. of weakness. I got it's germs. A sign of weakness. Yeah, what know, the fuck was what that? Voice does he have? That's why his fucking fingers got infected, dirty fuck. It's because he was touching all up on his dick, <laughs> now washing them. Yeah. So and, and so, how could it? How can anything like that possibly be a weakness of character? Yeah, see, uh, if anything, it's like uh, we know you're really clean, sir. <laughs> if you, if you don't face those germs head on, yeah. you know, so, you're a pussy. <laughs> so you're you're thinking like germ commando. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it builds up your immune your your immune system. If you what diseases were hit back then? That's why kids the age when they were kids survive a little bit longer. (laughs) Polio was a good one. Polio was a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Polio was (laughs) a classic. As far as diseases go, yeah. (laughs) The only polio I have is my shirt I wear. (laughs) So there's two things that I want to discuss. I mean, that's why conservatives are trying to bring it back. You know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of diseases that are trying to make a comeback right now. <laughs> yeah, Spine like a uh, yeah, like a uh, like Ebola like, was trying. Yeah, like measles, the mumps, the Backstreet Boys. A lot of hideous <laughs> diseases are suddenly trying to come back. Super gonorrhea. Did we need a super gonorrhea? Seriously. Gonorrhea. Yeah. Mega gonorrhea. Yeah. It's just gonorrhea with a cape. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's that's dope. It's dope. And then there's mega gonorrhea, and then there's like the Japanese version, mecha gonorrhea. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's a robotic gonorrhea. Oh my god, unstoppable. God's Does yeah. that one shoot rainbows too? No, wait, Maybe. that was fucking uh, Caesar. Yes. Shit. I fucked it King up. Caesar. Start over. Start. King Caesar. <laughs> Cut that part. So there's so Cut there's so there's two things. Yeah, we'll fix it in post. It's fine. <laughs> so there's two things that I want to discuss. Number one, Oscar winners, and number two, fucking Guillermo del Toro. Because people go gaga over Guillermo del Toro movies. He has fanboys, and they just go ape shit for everything he does. Yeah. So that's two issues I want to discuss. Godzilla del Toro. Godzilla del, del Toro. <laughs> number one, Oscar award winners. For best picture, yeah, like you were saying, Bunny, real mixed fucking bag there, uh -huh. you know. Like, I have something to add real quick. Sure, sure. I'm not sure the Shape of Water was the best picture. There sure were a couple of best pictures in the movie. <laughs> nice snapshot. <laughs> I mean, best yeah, snapshot. The, the scene at the end, just right there, bam, perfect. Uh. Not sure if the entire movie was best picture. Yeah, though. yeah. So there's some great, amazing movies in the list of best pictures. Beautiful films, touching romances, touching romances like Schindler's List. Yes. And 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 madcap zany comedies like Twelve Years a Slave. I cried. But holy, fuck. but <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, there are some bad movies that have won best picture. Oh God, most yes. People, most people, including the internet agree that Shakespeare in Love is the worst best picture of all time. Okay. That was voted the worst best picture of all time, I Shakespeare think it's, in Love. I think it's that everyone's like, okay, what's the most obscure fucking full of myself movie on this list? And that's what they think. It, it's, it's weird that, like, best award-winning, Oscar award-winning film, best picture, that somehow also has Ben Affleck in it. Yeah. The whole thing. You know, like, that's well, weird. Like Keanu Reeves, he's always another one. <clears throat> yeah. They always throw in the mix. Keanu Reeves is an immortal. <laughs> I think I think Shakespeare in Love is okay, but personally, like, my most hated Best Picture winner. It's, it's yeah, it's... It, it, uh, I, I like it too, but definitely not Best Picture. Yeah. You know, but, but at the same time, it is exactly the Oscar Beatty type of movie. Yeah, it, it's Oscar bait. Yeah, it's Shakespeare. Yeah. It's a costume period piece, you know. Yeah. British people and. British people, yeah. And that goop chick, Gwyneth Paltrow. Mm -hmm. But but my. I, can't, I cannot help. Every time I think of Gwyneth Paltrow now, I can't help but thinking if she's got a jade rock in her vagina. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yep. Man, you gotta Spelunk eat her out with a miner's cap. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go spelunking in <laughs> yeah. Gwyneth's <Paltrow's> vagina. <laughs> I found treasure. <laughs> treasure, one hundred points. <laughs> my most, my most hated Best Picture winner is Driving Miss Daisy, a racist piece of shit featuring Dan Aykroyd for some reason. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that whole thing because it was just kind of annoying when she was yelling at him about the salmon or some shit. And then it's like 1950, so of course, like, like the black guy is Miss Daisy. I'm supposed to drive you to the stove. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. That that was another problem that I had with uh, the Shape of Water because there's one black person, and of course, she's like, like super yeah. slimy. And now let me tell you something, child. Mm -hmm. Darling, I can handle pee, even a little bit of poop, but I just cannot handle blood, girl. <laughs> yeah, like, oh god, damn it. the world was girl out of Zelda's mouth. Oh, Jesus God. Christ! Yeah. Then there's Titanic, a badly written oh, piece no. of shit hiding behind amazing special effects. No. Don't do that to the Titanic. <laughs> I love Ti the Titanic. Hey, Titanic there's one all thing. All there's one thing that I love about Titanic is that Titanic created a really good Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> okay, listen, I love the Titanic for one reason. I watched it as a kid, and then I watched it twenty thousand more times, <laughs> and now I know the entire script by heart, and I can isn't just that, quote it. Isn't that isn't that weird? Just thinking back. That movie was too big for one VHS cassette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You needed two VHS oh, cassettes. And it's weird because the first DVD I, I ever bought was Goodfellas. And and it, it was so old, you watched half of the film on one side of the DVD. And, and then you had to flip it, yeah, the DVD yeah. over. God, my mom mm -hmm. had some of those. 
piss me off. For the longest oh, yeah. time, I just thought that it was only half the movie, and I was like, we're just fucking poor, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I we couldn't afford the other half of the fucking movie, <laughs> and I never caught on. <laughs> Flip it over once the other half. I got a wait, story there's a about third that. act? I got a story about that, actually. What? Uh, back, uh, you actually talk shit about me, uh, about it to, uh, on here, I guess. Yes, uh, yes, we been... did. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> I don't that has I got to be funny. Deanna, and it's titled Shitting on Deanna. <laughs> nice. Ooh, send me a link. <laughs> and it was, and it was uh, for, oh, what the hell was it for? It was for It. It, yeah. Because you're, because you're it. a filthy pervert that likes the new version of It. Um, no, oh that's my god. Me. That's fucking, Destiny. Destiny fucking, fucking, Oh, that's like Destiny? Phase, Tim, like, um, hurry! And then I had a dream that God himself <laughs> materialized in front of me and was like, you ain't getting to heaven, bitch. And then I deleted everything. All my, all my <laughs> it stuff, I couldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I was like, I'm like, no, even if heaven is real, I just want to be there. <laughs> oh. The story is Christian and I rented it from Family Video, and it was so old of a DVD that we had to flip it over. But we didn't realize that at first. Yeah. <laughs> and it cuts off when uh, what's his face the 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 Jewish Jewish one the Jew yeah. <laughs> he fucking kills himself in the tub, and I was like, all right, that's how it ends, I guess. John Ritter was it? That was John Ritter, right? No, that was Richard Mauser. <laughs> There weren't even credits, it just cut off. All right, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I remember this movie being scarier. <laughs> Is that why you told me it wasn't scary? It's because you didn't know there was more? <laughs> I mean, we, we figured it out later. We flipped it over and watched the rest. It still wasn't fucking scary. No. The scariest part of it was the weird claymation parts, and that was it. Yeah. I miss my DVD of 12 Monkeys because the DVD of 12 Monkeys I had had the movie 12 Monkeys on it. But if you flipped it over, there was a documentary of the making of 12 Monkeys, which was actually longer than the movie 12 Monkeys and a yeah. much, much better. Yeah. It was oh, a yeah. better movie than 12 Monkeys was. I think I have that on my version. But I liked I liked 12 Monkeys. I liked I like it, it, I like it got a little monkeys, slow and just, draggy, though, in spots. Yeah, I like 12 Monkeys, but just the documentary was better. It was funnier. Yeah. It was more lighthearted, it, you know? Is that the one with the bald guy in all the Fast and Furious movies? Vin Diesel? Vin <laughs> Diesel is not in 12 Monkeys. Damn it. No, no but it was a shaved Bruce That's Willis, Willis which is a... Monkeys. And Bruce Willis. Bruce yeah. Willis! There you which, go. The other which, bald guy. Yeah. Bald guy. Yeah. yeah. Which I would it's accept him. as a proto-Vin Diesel. <laughs> The three bald guys. And Mr. Yeah, Clean. The Trinity of bald. <laughs> yeah. Patrick Stewart gets his own category because he's old. Yeah. 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 And a legend. Doug Jones, he's bald. Doug Jones is not bald. I don't know who Doug Jones is. Doug Jones played about? the fish man in The Shape of Water. Oh, okay. And Pat's. He's <laughs> fucking great. No, no I, I, I write about it here. Uh, I, write I, about I was it wondering here, if uh, that was jo Doug Jones, but I didn't bother looking it up. <laughs> yeah, this film features a star studded cast of people whose names I vaguely recognize. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Doug Jones and uh, that well, old bitch. Yeah, Sally Hawkins. Is. I don't <laughs> and know. And small faced black lady who plays in uh, Hidden, Figures. Hidden Figures. I know, I know, I know Sally Hawkins because that's the woman where uh when people do dances for then the women ask the men out what <laughs> doug jones has worked with guillermo del toro several times now because doug <laughs> jones is incredibly thin kind of like the guy who yeah, plays c3po you know yeah, yeah. so yeah so he, he will so so he was the fish man in this. I didn't know that, but thank you. Um, mm -hmm. He was Abe Sapien in the Hellboy movies. There you go. Because there once you, go. once oh, you get him in const costume. Oh. Yeah. He yeah was, he's, he's a furry. The he was, high hand guy in Pan's Labyrinth. He's, yeah, he's the pale oh, man. Okay. So the fawn. The fawn, the fawn yeah. And, I think that's why I hate, like, I didn't hate The Shape of Water, but it really didn't touch like it I, I didn't like it as much as I liked Pan's Labyrinth because Pan's Labyrinth was so good. I I could not so get into Pan's Labyrinth at I all. I, I, I don't I, I I only vaguely remember that movie. Oh my god, yeah. I have it. You want to borrow it? It's so No, good. I've seen it before. I've Go seen it before. It I just vaguely remember it. Dude so let's face smashed in with so, so let's so let's move awesome. so let's move on to that. Um so 
the Oscars, when, when a film wins Best Picture, I automatically go, okay, well, let's see. Let's see if this is... Let's see how bad it sucks. Just say yeah, it. Let, let me take a look at this and see. I, I text Christian, asked if he was so, with Amber while he was out. He never answered me, and Amber gets off right now. Yeah, but it's also Amber, so she might get off a half hour from now, 20 minutes from now, 45 minutes from now. So let's talk about Mexico fanboy and nerd's wet dream, Guillermo del Toro. Yes. yes. Lay off my man. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro, the one Mexican film director that's white enough for Americans oh, to remember. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But not enough to allow massively Not enough Girl to Girl allow him Toro. to do what he wants to do. <laughs> yeah. The director of such massively successful blockbuster films as The Devil's Backbone and Blade 2. <laughs> the Devil's Backbone was real good. I didn't see it. Oh, it uh, was real good. Del Toro's movies mostly center around fantasy and fairy tale elements with films such as Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy, and the fantastic film Mimic, whatever the fuck that movie was about. I didn't see it. Yeah. The guy was born in Guadalajara, Mexico, and I went on vacation to Guadalajara when I was nine years old. Yeah. There was a pool, and in the middle of the pool, there was a bar. <laughs> yes. And you could him up to the bar uh -huh. I mean, and you can you can no 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 i could because it was mexico i'd be swimming <laughs> and then i and then i'd swim over to the bar and sit on a bar stool and then they'd just speak some spanish to me and push a plate of pretzels <laughs> and i'd eat pretzels in the pool and then i'd go that swim some like more and then i'd come paradise. back and it was awesome and then there, the pool was like a maze, and it would go this way, and then it would go yeah. over that way. And then there was one path in the pool that went through the hotel. There was like a, there was just like a wall that the pool went to, and if you swam under the wall, boom! Now you're in a part of the pool that's inside the hotel. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It was super awesome, and that's all I remember of Mexico. I want to get rich and get a labyrinth pool. Yeah, no, it was awesome. A pan's labyrinth pool? So I can get lost and then drown. <laughs> and die and never have to look at this fucking I'm ever again. I'm so <laughs> glad you guys were here, because I did not have a lot about this movie. Oh, God, like, I can... I, so this was just, like, perfect timing. Do you know... Okay, I have one thing to you say. Want, that's okay. synopsis of it. I'm so happy that this one, because now I get to look forward to the public embracing and making more fantastic movies about fucking monsters. But then people are going to start trying to fuck fish. You know, it, it started with Twilight, and that was... Oh, and that was boring. That, that was boring because they weren't mo monstrous looking in any way. Is that ever? And then, yeah. suddenly, fucking fish no. guy. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Del Toro. And now I get to look forward to other strange shit that's going to happen in the in the future. Yes. Like a gargoyle, maybe. I don't know. A centaur. Yes, let's fuck a centaur. <laughs> See, I'd be down for that because at least... Is that bestiality? I'm telling you, that fish... It would be half bestiality. Be half I have such a hard time getting into it. It's like... It's a female... You're expected to kind of... <sighs> Like, be in to kind of fantasize about these movies with, like, the romantic connection between the lady and the fish man, because that's fucking common. Um, but I just couldn't, because he looked like an ape baby with gills. Same monkey. Okay, well, well, the, he did not have nearly enough personality, and that's actually a part that I lost it on too, and Jeannie as well. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that like this relationship didn't. It was it, just it, ooky. It, it didn't come off. It didn't come <laughs> off for me. No, you know, it was just. Ooky. I didn't feel the relationship. I didn't. I no. never felt for the fish man. No. You I know, I just couldn't. That is not enough. Yeah. Like content. I needed something. I needed a punch. I I get I get I think I think it's because um he was a little too animalistic in nature. Like yeah. maybe if he signed a little more. Yeah. Uh and didn't crawl on the ground like an idiot. But... And, and eat the cat. And, he, and, and eat the power cat. Yeah. This, oh, God damn. Did yeah. you see it when he <laughs> jutted his hip out? Hell yeah. 
<laughs> but my my other problem with this movie, besides his fingers, because that was just stupid. <laughs> okay, the other problem I really had with this movie is she was happy that she fucked the fish man. She had she had her just got fucked smile, you know, and mm-hmm. she was letting people know that she had fucked the fish man and nobody had a problem with this. Yeah. Her friends were very nobody, supportive. Nobody thought they were of very mentioning it. Yes. Not in 1962, they fucking weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Eliza, if you want to fuck a fish, whatever. <laughs> Just don't tell me about it. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere between 1930 and 1962, which seems to be the time period of this movie. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Jesus. They really need to pin that shit down. Do you guys want a little bit of trivia? Sure. Uh, the the um, costume designer for the the asset, that's what he's called in the movie. Yeah. Right, the asset. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually revealed his name on Twitter, what they called him, or the suit that they made him. Yeah. Uh, his name's Charlie after the tuna. Okay, nice. Charlie, Charlie Tuna. Yeah, cute. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> Charlie bit my ow, Charlie. That hurts. Charlie bit my finger. Here are some fun Wikipedia facts about Guillermo del Toro. When he was a child, he made a short film about a serial killer potato that had that that hoped to one day take over the world, but then was stopped when uh, the serial killer potato was run over by a car because it's still a potato. <laughs> Okay. That was an actual film that he made as Is a child. Is that really so different from Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Um, I just gotta say, I really hope that he goes back to that idea and brings it into rubber, a full length. I could a... see, I could see that guy uh, being a potato. Doug Jones. <laughs> Doug Jones, yeah. A giant potato just rolling. Yeah, Doug Jones gets an he Oscar for his he's role as uh, a killer potato. He'd be a potato with abs because <laughs> for some fucking reason, yeah. every costume that he builds has abs. Yeah, potato abs. Potato abs. But something hey man, just kind of abs. You know, also why he's all he's always chosen to be in these costumes. Hmm. Doug Jones is a contortionist. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah, no, that'll do it. I forgot Especially about that. But yeah. underneath the costumes, he's just a beady-eyed, scary little man. <laughs> he is the pale man. <laughs> he is. He could be in a, a horror movie. Look him up. He's Ask himself. Kind, he's all kinds of gaunt. Oh my god! Did you know he played the bye bye man? <laughs> the bye bye yeah, man. He the bye bye man. Right. This is the first time in the his in our uh, 166 episodes of the Pope on film that somebody has dared. To bring up the bye bye man. The pee pee poo poo man. Jesus <laughs> Who Christ. Is the bye-bye don't think you don't man. see it. Don't think you can say it. The pee pee poo poo man. God damn. <laughs> I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the picture that you guys posted on Facebook. Hey, Hi. He's all- <laughs> he just did that. He's crazy gaunt. He has like this really yeah. long neck. I don't. It's like dude. fucking like ashy, like towards his. Co- it's really weird. This it's is like the he's... most that anyone has said the word gaunt. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> In our, in our podcast. Look at him. His, he's got weird bugged out yeah. eyes. I love you know, him. No eyebrows. <laughs> you know who, you know, eyebrows? You know who else looks gaunt, Bunny? He's who? an actual fish person. Church organists. <laughs> Church organists, yes. Church organists look very gaunt. Here's another fun Wikipedia fact about Guillermo del Toro. He claims to have a, and this is a quote from himself, a Frankenstein fetish to, his, to a degree that is unhealthy. No, is that a, a fetish for Frankenstein or a fetish for a putting Frankenstein shit together? fetish? Mm. So a the fetish about Frankenstein, oh, I believe God, the so creature. Is that why the fingers were like that? <gasps> That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> she just put two and two together, and then two. four and six and eight together, and now you have a person made out of body parts. That's why he loves fucking smashing people in the face in his movies. In Pan's Labyrinth, he got the guy get his fucking head face smashed in with a bottle. bottle. Uh, his fingers came off, and then the, the Giles, 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 Giles fucking smashed him in the face. And that's why in Hellboy, he's watching the cartoon Gerald McBoing Boing. He put his finger oh, the yeah. noise making boy. He th- put his finger through Doctor Hofstadler's bullet wound through his cheek. Yeah, that was yeah. some metal shit, man. That kind of got me going a little more than the fish man. You I'm have like, no yes. reason to lie to me, son. 
<laughs> you were just speaking Russian. Bob. 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 The same idea, but Natasha was a little off. But it's yeah. okay. I was going for German. For some Natasha time. was. Uh, hey. We were. Yes. 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 We were Kraft mac and cheese. Oh, she what? was great value mac and cheese. Same idea. Oh. <laughs> Same idea. Can't Still I, good. Can't I be Kraft and y'all be Velveeta at least? Still good. Ever since Destiny saw that movie, we've been making jokes back and forth of failing their Russian password. The sparrow <laughs> the sp- eats the oh eagle God. on the yeah, that's, sill. I mean, that's the only thing yeah. I can think is why his fingers... It's my favorite yeah. thing. Yeah, because because I was wondering why... There's not too many uh, Oscar award-winning films that feature General Zod popping his fingers like a zip. Yeah. Oh, that was not a lot of horrible. <laughs> that doesn't okay, scream okay. Oscar award-winning uh-huh. caliber, caliber right. films. And besides, I pre- I prefer my own spy sentence, which I had, I had told you when you told me that you had the meeting at Barnes and Noble. Yes. Um, or or whatever that other place was. Um, yeah. The chicken roars in silence. That's a good spy sentence. Yeah. yeah. The chicken roars in silence only on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say back to that to confirm it? Only on Tuesday. Only on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, Dustin wants to bring up the I sex really, scene real quick. I need we there has to I need some kind of closure <laughs> on this. General Zod ex-wife sex scene. Yeah, that was that, that was, was that was uncomfortable. That the, was, the one where his hand was bleeding. Yes, and, she, and he uses yeah, it to cover up. That was yeah. the most uncomfortable I've ever. See, been. I have a I have I saw, a control kink. Like I like yes, force me to do something. That's wonderful. But she didn't look comfy. It was like what's it? You have a control kink. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what really made me uncomfortable? Is what was sexy about whipping out her boob and being yeah. like, you should get a Cadillac? <laughs> I, think, I think that was like a, I think that was like a, a show of the 1960s. Look, we're a happy family. Everything's beautiful and fine. The kids are gone. Let's fuck. <laughs> we can buy a Cadillac. I have a titty. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll just lay here. No, you guys you never can... saw the classic commercial. <laughs> buy a Cadillac. I've got a titty. That no, was a classic I, commercial I from say, 1962. No, no, I never saw that. I've seen. You no, can get a Cadillac. I've got a titty. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's that was, yeah, that was like, the entire shitty, commercial. Jingling. Bunch of tits all over wow. the place. Sounds yeah. like something. You know, I was reading the other day um, Jello. Jello was a big thing. You were reading Jello? No, no, no. <laughs> Jello. Why were you reading Jello? Jello was a big thing. Jello, like the Jello in the key lime pie, the Jello with the painting. It's And I was reading on Tumblr the other day that the, the painting, the Giles guy did Giles. Oh, painting. okay. Okay. Um, that jello was something that had just been like not invented but like further what's the word I'm looking for help me um no like they started using it because they were getting like refrigerators and all this Uh, cool technical shit and so they started storing their food in jello that was normal unflavored gelatin they would put like meat and eggs in there because it would stay fresh in the jello Oh, that, oh mm, white okay. people don't know what tastes good. <laughs> white <laughs> fucking white people shit. No, black no black people didn't do this. It was white people. White people be like, yeah, you want my meat casserole jello? Yeah. yeah as soon there. as <laughs> as soon as you hear the word jello, you've got to things. think white people. Mayonnaise and, mayonnaise and pears. Oh, yeah. What was that, buddy? White people. As soon as you think about white as soon as you hear general jello, you know it's gotta be white people. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's like Kool Aid, black people, Jello white people. I mean, I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I'm not proud of it, but fucking Jello is ours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I really like Jello. White. I'm a white person too, and we're just awful. <laughs> I, th- I I think we should have strove Jell-O. a little higher than than Jello, you know, but we're stuck with Jello. Jell-O. That's it. But it's ours, you know. We own it. Oh yes, white, was- white people are horrible. <laughs> mm, I want to put slime in my mouth. <laughs> this brown, this vaguely one- chocolate flavored slime. Delicious. Made this made one- out of it was scat people. Made yeah, out of my- cow hooves. <laughs> 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 
You guys are really grossing me out about <laughs> about pudding, which is good because I don't eat pudding because I'm I'm like not white, but mm. but Steve, yeah, you're not white. <laughs> I am on the inside. No, I am pudding, on the inside. pudding is for everybody. That's fine. Are we uh, bringing you off? Yeah, but that's fine. That's fine because I didn't have a lot anyway. Awesome. Here's another fun Wikipedia fact about Guillermo del Toro. He owns two houses dedicated solely to his books and posters. What's that's that? me, man. That's awesome. I that have is so awesome. many books. Yeah. That's that's cool as shit. I need like four bookshelves. I'm, this I, is my I can't mansion. About that. This is my mansion that's solely yeah. filled with old issues of Entertainment Weekly that my daughter has ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my house. This is my, my house. It's full of Hellboy merch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's here's the only difficult part that I'm gonna have t- uh, tonight with the Shape of Water. Um, so let me read through this. It's kind of- I thought Hellboy was just okay. I never saw Mimic. I vaguely remember Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. And I liked Pacific Rim, despite feeling that 75% of that film was a redneck yelling Mako. Yeah. Pacific Rim was Yeah. He yeah. designed a lot of yeah. monsters. Which, by the way, I love those monster designs. Yeah, but 75% yeah. of that film. And if they could film, speak, I would fall in love yeah. with them. But 75% of that film was just a redneck going, Come on, Mako! We can do it, Mako! You and me, together! Don't give up, Mako! Mako! That was 75% of the dialogue in that <laughs> so film. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I, and I never saw Crimson Peak despite Loki being in it. I have not also in seen it? Crimson Peak. The lady, um, you know what's in Crimson Peak? Uh, the girl who played Alice in the Tim, Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And a lot of incest. Yeah. Yeah, that was that. Jump that was in that, that one too. Yeah, I figured. He plays their dead ass mom. That was that creepy gothic horror <laughs> ghost <laughs> movie that yeah. Yeah, that allegedly was wasn't really scary. It was supposed to have been very Lovecrafty, and I, I I wanted to yeah I wanted to check that one out, but I just never got around to it. Because Guillermo yeah. del Toro yeah. is really hit or, hit or miss. Um. Yeah. But but go yeah. back go back and watch The Devil's Backbone and Kronos. Those are both just fucking dynamite movies. All right. Well, I like Guillermo del Toro, but I'm just I'm not a fanboy. I'm not 100% drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh no. But drinking the Jello. But let's let's do stats. Let's do stats. The Shape of Water is a 2017 film directed by Guillermo del Toro, starring a star-studded cast of people whose names I vaguely recognize. Mm-hmm. It has a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it only has a 75% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. So reviewers loved it, and uh, audiences thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Which I think is usually the standard for Best Picture Oscar winners. It's a film set in 1972, but in a world where everything looks like it's the 1930s. It's a fanciful tale about a mute, fish-fucking, a sassy, wise-talking black janitor, General Zod minus two fingers, closeted gay guys who hate key lime pie, and about how horrible foreigners are. <laughs> that's it. It's the whole movie. Yeah. So Dimitri was pretty cool. Shut up. Dimitri! Did you see when he walked up and fucking stabbed that guy in the neck with a syringe? Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> Dimitri is my daddy. <laughs> He's my Dimitri daddy. <laughs> so here's the actual story. It, it, I had heard about it, so I looked it up, and I was happy to see that it was uh, correct. Guillermo del Toro has a hard-on for monsters. So yes. as a child, he saw the classic Universal film Creature from the Black Lagoon, and he's all, man. The monster should have ended up with the woman. So then cut to much later, and Universal is starting the whole Dark Universe thing. Yeah. And so they talk to Guillermo del Toro, and he and he said, I have an idea. I don't know, a Mexican accent, which <laughs> is sad because I'm Mexican. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea for the movie. That's, that's, that's Italian, Italian. But I'm sticking with it anyway. <laughs> okay. Hey. Close. So he's kind of fat, so it's he's a fat guy, Whoa. so it's kind of close. Does that mean he's Italian? Because I'm Italian, Steve. Yeah. Does that mean I'm fat? No, guy. <laughs> guy. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. So he says, like, I, I want to do... A and your answer is, yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. 
So I want to do a, I want to do a, I want to remake Creature from the Black Lagoon for your Dark Universe thing. But here's my pitch: it's from the monster's point of view, and at the end he gets the girl. And Universal's like, "No, you can't do that. No, no you can't. You, you can't but do it that." But shows. Fucking weirdo, get yeah. out of my studio. Yeah, you can't do that with with my with my with my with our character. So basically, he Sam Raimi did it. Yeah, like Sam Raimi went to Warner Brothers and said, "Hey." Let me do a Batman movie. And Warner Brothers said, fuck, no, you can't have Batman. So then Sam Raimi said, fuck it. I'll make my own Batman. I'll call him Darkman. And that was how we got Darkman. No. And the creature from the Black Lagoon is how we got the shape of water. Yes. And and there was enough of a tip of a hand. Cause, well, because frankly, it's roughly the same plot. <laughs> Yeah. As creature from the Black Lagoon, and what I felt was the biggest tip of the hand was when he, when uh, one of the scientists was saying, he he has two lungs. This this would be great for space exploration. Like that's straight. <laughs> that's straight from the first movie. Yeah, yeah. Which I still like, think is silly. What are you going to give like... us all fish fucking lungs? <laughs> yeah. That life specifically confused me because, like, he can breathe air and water, and not space. Yeah, yeah. No, back in the '60s, we were we were we were regularly sending aquariums into space. Mm. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that was that was that was before the monkeys. I found Nemo. <laughs> yeah, before the monkeys, we would send like. I, I like Nemo. money. My son. <laughs> So like like fish, that's this movie. Fish just had a hard cool. time hitting the right buttons. Yeah. To guide it, the spacecraft. That was the big problem. Exactly. With fish. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, like I like the movie and it's good and it's really good. I just, I'm just not sure if it's best picture good. Pan's Labyrinth. No. Yeah, that was a beautiful film. Oh, the opening to this was beautiful. And there was a lot of oh, beautiful yeah. in it. Especially the masturbation scene. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So let's talk about the fish penis. Okay. Great. Finally to the fish penis. Yes, finally to the fish penis. Let's talk about the fish penis. I think that it is categorically unfair to have the female love interest fully nude. Yes. Just tits and nipples and ass and, and pubic bush. Hair. Yeah. Pubic hair and masturbating. Yeah. But you do not see like a fish penis or or even like a fish ass crack right. yeah like we got like very very vaguely detailed cheeks <laughs> yeah thighs okay yeah it's some not fair. Thighs. <laughs> yeah but it's not fair well you have a, to if you were swimming so much okay I got an but uncomfortable I, strickland sex scene and no fish dick and i'm yeah. mad like i like i'm pretty sure i saw strickland's asshole <laughs> but i even know fish dick. <laughs> this is bullshit yeah, it's not okay. Fair. I have some it questions, though. I have some questions. Okay, now, g- g- did, did was three minutes to cook eggs quick enough for her to masturbate, or were her eggs usually way overdone? Ah, dude. Okay, so in my experience of <sighs> masturbation, it takes a little bit longer than that. Hey yeah. man, in my experience, you put your mind to it. <laughs> Sometimes though, if you put your mind best, to it, you can accomplish my anything. My best was twenty-two seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. Oh man. I mean, it can be quicker, but you, we're talking about her morning routine here. You would think that that you would want that True. kind of kind of relaxed, and you would want vanilla scented candles. Yeah, you it's know? like in the water. It's hard to masturbate in a bathtub if you're a female. For a guy, I mean, it's just... It's easy anyway. It's easy, yeah. I mean, it's like you, you, your thing is on in the In the outside. car, at church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. It's, in yeah, the car, in a at bathtub, church. In, in the a car, bathtub, it's really hard. Church, Plus, Chuck you have to cheese, think of the infections good. that you can get while getting water inside of your vagina. The infections, like, just the risk, like soap inside of your vagina. Is so that why it takes you so super, long to masturbate? You're not thinking of... Super unrealistic. <laughs> she's not thinking of something sexy. She's, like, just, like, diddling. Well, and I like, also, oh, my God, diseases. I also <laughs> never, like... like the devil's doorbell. I, oh, oh, my God. I think this is why I can't masturbate in the bathtub. Because one time I did, and I, like, held my breath and, like, cut off blood to my... Like my blood, my brain, and I passed out and was passed out on my bathroom floor for like five minutes. 
Wow. Until my dad saw my naked body splayed out on the bathroom floor, passed out. And I couldn't tell if it was because I was, like, flicking the bean. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't feel good. And God, don't post this. <laughs> no, of course we're going to. He's going gonna to know. No, seriously, I thought, he's like, you just got to start eating better, you know. And I'm like, I couldn't tell him that it was because I was vigorously fingering myself. <laughs> so hard that I couldn't breathe and oh. I stood up too fast and then passed out. How old were you? Uh, <laughs> that, that's the big question oh, to this shit. entire story. Okay, I was friends with Deanna. You had to learn to like stand. You were stand. friends with Deanna? Okay. I'm going to say 14 or 15. You had to learn okay. to, to stand Jesus. and stay standard. I can masturbate standing up. Oh yeah. Sometimes no, I lock easy. my knees and I get Charlie horses through my legs <gasps> and oh, die. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I had the worst Charlie horse while I was masturbating <laughs> It was so bad. It was in it was in my calf, and I was like, "Yeah, this is not." Oh! I was in my bed trying to go to sleep, and I like to call them Charles horses because <laughs> I don't know the horse that well. My dad's <sighs> name is Charles. Fucking burst into tears, <laughs> dude. You can't walk out. It hurts. You gotta crawl everywhere for the next day or two. <laughs> Natasha would have Charlie horses bad. She had to get these pills that Nana gave her. God, I, I, fish stick. We're yeah, talking about fish, fish stick. So, what kind of penis is it called when it's like covered completely and then it opens and comes out? Isn't there like a technical name? Uh, it just has a um, seam. It's called uh, a surprise turtle dick. Oh, yeah. it's like it's like a snake. It's a very technical term. Yeah. Uh, snakes and crocodiles and most reptiles have um, this seam that they're penis comes out of. Mm. Mammals tend to have them out in the open already, but uh, reptiles got them tucked away. You want to know yeah. why? Mm. Because water causes infection. I'm not crazy. An amphibian, what was that? an amphibian said to be an amphibian. Did you know that Guillermo said that uh, since he, he can have any uh, genitalia he wished? Because he's a god. Because he's a god. Because No, because life... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Finds a way. <laughs> so uh, he could have a fish gina. Yeah. Or, or, or. <laughs> Eliza's a lesbian. Or, or, you know what else he might have? Hmm. He might have a mangina. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How you doing? You think you could ever love me? My name's Greg. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for like a. Do you love me? For him to start I signing. Have me. you ever drank Bailey's from, from a, a shoe? shoe. <laughs> but no, he just knows egg. That's it. And, and you and me together. You me together. That's, egg. I'm gonna hurt sad you. Shit. Yeah, at the very end, I'm like, Ugh. and she's like, oh, no, <laughs> not together, apart. Did anyone else think it was the raw shit when he got he got shot and then he stood up and wiped the blood marks off his peck? Yeah. Was like, oh, no more. <laughs> yeah, that was like, like what is this? A fucking yeah, Sylvester Stallone action film? <laughs> yeah, he's, Sylve- <laughs> he's sec- 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 secretly Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Don't well, I, I I liked how he immediately action. went. I like, I like how he immediately one. went no. for his girlfriend and was just kind of went for the bad guy and just being like, "Eh, fuck it, my girlfriend can stay dead for a little while longer." <laughs> oh my god, I'll bring her back. I was hoping that right before General Zod died, for the fish to finally speak and to say, "You know, I could have fixed your fucking fingers, right?" <laughs> I could have fixed your fingers, like, like let me touch him, and then like two hours later, you've got like. I don't want to. Film. You have a per- okay. perfect pussy finger. <laughs> Just oh ask. All well, you had to do. All you had to do is give me an egg and would have fixed your creepy fucking zit fingers. Oh, she's, she's like, like, she gave him an egg, he, all right. He leans in real close. He's like, those squawks I made when you stabbed me with your cattle prod, they were sounds of pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming more in fish. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of screams of pleasure, I finally had Szechuan sauce. Oh, yeah? is and it was delicious. Just want to oh, say, I had Szechuan sauce a couple of days ago. It was amazing. It's all right. I mean, I think it was really overrated. I loved it. Yeah, I think it was super hyped. Bella I and I it. loved it. Wasn't it. that great? 
We have a case of it that we're not ever going to use in our refrigerator. Do you want it? Um, I, I, have, I had two of them, and then Emerald said, oh, you didn't save me any Szechuan sauce? And I'm like, shit, okay. Now I just have one because I had to give one to Emerald so she could try it. And then Bella saw that I had Szechuan sauce, and she kept it in her room. And I'm, and she's just so proud she's to have this it, little yeah. thing of Szechuan sauce. Yeah, she I'm, I'm it. just keeping it in case uh, McDonald's takes it away again and some crazy Rick and Morty fan wants to give me a million dollars or something. That's good thinking. That's a good investment. Yeah, that yeah. Beanie yeah. Babies. We went through the drive-thru. And, um, All I have to say for the exchange is, uh, I'm Pickle Rick! And then, <laughs> hand, yeah. and then he'll hand me the money. Yeah. <laughs> You could probably just like say I'm Pickle Rick to a Rick and Morty fan, and he'd be like, "Ah, yeah, <laughs> a, and a, a crazy Rick and Morty fan." And no, no, other just... a normal Rick and Morty fan would just kind of like, "Oh, I gotta go." <laughs> I gotta <laughs> go. Uh, don't mind me. I'm gonna be under this cover on the corner. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're Rick and Morty fans, so it's more like, "Yeah, dude, awesome." <laughs> Do you also like rape? <laughs> Pickle Rick is that. Is, is Rip and no, Rick and Morty fans are are now known as being like assholes in the majority of America. Oh yeah, I mean, they are. Cause, yeah. Okay, you know how to look for them? It's yeah, if, bro. It's if they uh, if they uh, identify with Rick. That's how you know. Like, yeah. mm, or if yeah. you're saying something, stay away, <laughs> and they stop you and go, actually, <laughs> that's how you know. Your husband, yeah. my husband, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you married? The man I'm fucking married. I'm legally bound to. I would like to take this time to say that um, Natasha and I have spoken uh, in detail about uh, killing him. My husband? Yeah. Why? Because he has a Hurricane shirt. And it has her, the Hurricane, my favorite wrestler on it. It also has Rosie, his sidekick. And then it? Mighty Molly the female sidekick. And so I was thinking about the shirt and we were heading to your house and I said to Natasha, we might have to kill Matt. And she said, we're not killing Matt. And I said, just hear me out. And she said, no. And I said, he's got a shirt. I'm not paying attention. It has the hurricane on it. We have to make it look like an accident, Steve. <laughs> like it was so quick. It was so quick. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. The moment I mentioned the shirt, I understand. Steve, no, I let's, let's plan this out. Steve, I have never known what that shirt was, and I've had it since I was, like, seven. I know, because I pointed out, like, you see that person there, Rosie? That person is actually the younger brother of Roman Reigns, the four-time WWE champion. And and you guys were just like, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I used to be super in wrestling. Um, my dad forced me to learn how to cage fight so I could kick anyone's ass. Yeah. Um, also, you already have one of my shirts. Do you want that one, too? That's one of your shirts? It's mine, yeah. I would love that shirt. You can yeah. have it. I'll give it to you. And uh, Even Natasha if it wasn't and I hers, will let hers him now. live. Huh? Natasha and I will let him live then. Well, I mean, you could kill so, him anyway. No, no, we won't. Yeah, for we your own. I mean, I mean, I'll pay you. No, that's good. We're good. You know what's an We're easy... You know what's I'm not doing easy, anything. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you know what's an easy guy to find out if uh, Deanna and myself is attracted to something? It's if they have sharp teeth. <laughs> I'm right in right there. Sharp teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. The acid, the acid growled at the fish, at, at the cat. I was in. I was done. My <laughs> kink is older men. I, I, mm. My kink you is... You have a mustache and kids, I'm in. There's a child in here. <laughs> it's been a while for me, so my kink right now... Anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Touch. Things that exist. <laughs> Physical contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my kink. Matt seems to think my kink is fucking in my sleep, and it's not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Bunny, you oh, 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 you, got, you broke Bunny. Right, Bunny. You broke Bunny and Jenny. How could you do this? All right, was that, was that funny? Jesus. That was amazing. It was great sex, if I'm being honest. But I was so unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like snoring, dreaming, and whoa, here's a penis. I dreamt that I was on a theme park. I was at a theme park and I was riding a roller coaster. Suddenly, a construction worker showed up and started jackhammering me <laughs> in the middle of the ride, and I'm wondering, where is this jackhammer coming from? I'm really getting 
pounded. Then I woke up and went, ah! Because I was really getting pounded. Because I was really getting <laughs> jackhammered. At least you get foreplay. Oh, honey. <laughs> I don't even get one play. <laughs> so I can squeeze his hand. No, Christian comes home no, at 6 a.m. Okay. from work and he's tired. And he's like, hey, do you wanna? And I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> It's 6 a.m. I'm sleeping. And just like that, Bella ran out of the room. Do you want to know something about Christian? Do you want to know? Do you want to know how he jerks off? He, oh, Jesus Christ. He, he pulls his blanket up over his head because he's done it since he was a child, and that's how he feels safe. Now Christian is running out of the room. Now Christian is running out of the room. Okay. And there's no Didn't fucking realize... play. Matt, uh, purse... Purses? Purses? Purse. Per, per, Persists? No, he like... How many syllables? <laughs> he flexes his yes, lips? Yes, like lip muscles. And that's what that's his concentration face. But he locks no, eyes no, this, with me. He, does this. he, he like, locks eyes with me and just like he gets finally mouth. yanks his dick off his body. <laughs> that's not sexy. I have a Ouch. little kind of kink called voyeurism. I like to watch people. <clears throat> I do not like to watch my own husband. <laughs> mm. hmm. Just faces. Mm. But you get four players, the thing. Christian just Sometimes. comes home, he's like, hey, Sometimes you he fucks me in my sleep. And then he gets the lube because he never gives me enough time to actually produce my own lubricants. And then he's just... Bunny. Men. Yes. <laughs> we, we've talked in the past about incidents in my life <laughs> in which in which I've been so uncomfortable yeah. that my entire body goes to sleep. <laughs> like when I was in sixth grade and, and, and my our teacher had a baby. And so uh, she was at home with the baby for a few months. And every family was in charge of going to her house and bringing dinner. Okay. And, and so... So, you know, so we got KFC for my sixth grade teacher and we went over there and my mom said, I don't want to go and talk to your teacher. You bring the food. So I knocked on the door and the husband opened the door and there's my teacher completely nude breastfeeding her child. <laughs> okay. And, oh my God. and so, you know how like when your foot falls asleep, imagine that over your entire body. Yeah. That's what that's what happened to me then, and that is what is happening to me now. Is it because I'm talking about my sex life? Yes, yes. You have got to break up with Christian. Why? Because he says Twizzlers are better than red vines. Oh, that bad bitch! He said that in my house, in too much Twizzlers. Get the fuck out! Twizzlers. I hate red vines. Oh my, God, like oh my God, Destiny! Oh my God, Destiny! Okay, that's fine. The only time I've ever... What you just fucking say, Steve? <clears throat> I said, "Oh my God, Destiny!" over and over again. Okay. Right Did your body just come back <laughs> awake? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I, the only time I ever had a Twizzler was I drank I I drank hot chocolate Advil one time. See, everyone was like all yeah, red like Mr. Pib and red vines and equals fine, crazy delicious. Yeah. At least you're not telling me in my face the Twizzlers are better than red vines. <laughs> red vines are kind of crumbly. And I'm always freaking biased. What? All of you are so biased. I don't actually know what the difference is. I told you, right? That's right, Bella. You got girl. Twizzlers are better than made of wax. Do you like wax? So angry. She's very upset by this. You think you're uncomfortable now? Wait till I get to the anal. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the anal? Yes. <laughs> We're talking about our sex lives, and Steve wants us to stop. Oh. No. He, he no. hasn't. Actually, he hasn't told us to stop. He I just said he's uncomfortable. I, I can have a whole podcast right here talking, talking about, about, it. about your sex lives in the podcast. Because we, we were talking about sick. fish sticks. We were talking about fish sticks. Yeah, fish sticks, huh? Yeah, we were talking about fish sticks. Um, you know, have you ever been to Bad Dragon? <laughs> yes, uh, I haven't purchased anything from there. I am never going to be that. able to hear that no, the same so way so again. <laughs> they got from like now on, dildos. fish sticks yeah. will be dildos. now known as <laughs> fish <laughs> dicks. <laughs> okay. It's like that. Okay, monster I wonder if they're the same shape. I did, I did, yeah. We were waiting to play Clue. 
Oh, you can get like a zombie. Yeah. You could get like a zombie dildo. There's like dragons. That's why it's named Bad Dragon. <laughs> Are you asking her to save you? Stop. No, I'm asking her to get me a beer. We can oh. stop. We can stop talking. Yeah. Do you? No, want it's me? okay. It's no, okay. We're done. We're it's done. okay. We're done no, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's been a long time. We're done. <laughs> It's been about a year. But there is a certain level of fascination here, almost like a car accident. <laughs> yeah. Money's cool with me. Yeah. Like, Speaking like, of car like, accident. like, I would kind of like you to stop too, just so we can wrap up the show and get the rest of it done. But at the same time, I, 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 I can't look away. I can't, I can't hear away. This has been you a know, great episode. You I'm know what the worst say. part is? This is going to be is, our is, award-winning okay. episode. There's a worst part? Okay. He's this uncomfortable thing where he locks his arm on, and he puts his palm on the top of my head, and he locks his arm, and he shoves my whole body down, and, so like, it like, hurts my neck. So he's having I'm, sex and also folding you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what it is? It's sexagami. It's the ancient Japanese art of uh, sexual it. body folding. He doesn't, like, grab my hips and do that. No, he grabs my shoulder and the top of my head and just, like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I had sex with Deanna. Also, I folded her into this swan. He yeah, wraps yeah. his arms around that's, my back, but also sex grabs agami. my ass. <laughs> like he like wraps his arms around me from above me, but also <laughs> still has arm to cross his arms and latch onto my ass cheeks. And it's like you're oh telling me he has slender man arms. <laughs> yeah. He's he's Mister Miss crisscrossed. All okay, the back. Yeah. keep in mind. Tiny. Doug Jones oh is a contortionist. <laughs> yep, Doug Jones okay. is a contortionist. That's I'm fucking Doug Jones! <laughs> <laughs> the pee-pee poo-poo man. <laughs> the bye-bye man. You brought up the bye-bye man in this podcast. Listen, I could talk... I haven't, I haven't felt like this since, since uh, Amber... Brought Norbit into my fucking oh, house. Oh, God. which Norbit also team. became an episode. I yeah, could, I could fill up a whole episode of your podcast talking about the Bible. That fucking so, movie. There's, I could not so stop talking about a teenager it. and a normal teenager out there, and then nobody paid attention when the kid went into the kitchen and came back with a piece of pizza. They didn't notice it had no toppings on it. That she had pulled out of the trash. <laughs> No, yay! Delicious. That's the magic of you having a child. You can't rely on that for anything, so give, <laughs> give it up. Give it up now. <clears throat> so uh, Steve told me about your guys' conversation to kill him. Yep. What? Yep. We were going to kill Matt. Matt. Oh, oh yeah, Matt had to die. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to give you guys a shirt. <laughs> I've had it for years, and I have just... My dad Hi, gave it to you. You're and saving me. And he was like, me. have this shirt. Eleanor. I'm giving you this shirt. You, you are now a woman. Me. And I was like, uh, like yeah. four years old, and he gave it to me. And so my boobs have never fit in it for a little while, but Matt doesn't have boobs, so yeah. he can. So I'm giving it to you guys. There you go. You can have that shirt now. Yeah, and, and he already has one of my flannels. We'll like, and we'll let Matt live. He was like, he was like, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna go kill Matt. I was like, what? He was like, no, I've got to kill him for a shirt. What? And he said, and okay, Natasha's but like, Destiny, no. Destiny might um, not be too thrilled about the thought of becoming a widow. So only, only if she finds <laughs> out. <laughs> I mean, just just maybe not. And and then he was like, yeah, okay, but let me tell you about the shirt. <laughs> it's got Rosie on it. Uh, it's got oh. Mighty Molly. Okay. And I was like, okay, so Matt has to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were on board I once like, I told you about the shirt. I was like, Matt doesn't even know who they are. I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm behind that. Matt must die. Matt must die. I was going to tell them the story about how, like, Roman Reigns was the younger brother of Rosie, and then Rosie died, and so... The hurricane came back at the last Royal Rumble, and there's a picture backstage of the hurricane with Roman Reigns together, and it's so sweet because Roman Reigns does exactly look like a younger version of Rosie, who's now dead and who was the partner of the hurricane. It's really sweet, but like in the beginning of that story, I'm like, oh, you people have no idea what I'm fucking talking about at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I, vaguely, I, I am vaguely tapping knew out because my dad had told me that my dad's <clears throat> a big wrestling buff, and I've just kind of like furthered away from it as I got older, not because I'm not interested in it, but because. He he lost interest in it. Yeah. And I didn't I, have anybody to watch it with. Even, <clears throat> even now, I'm just kind of staring at the wall with cloudy eyes. Like, I recognize the words Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah, have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, so let's 
So let's go back to what we were talking about before. Let me tell you exactly how a Christian masturbates. <laughs> okay. No, Molly, did you eat me? She's <clears throat> fucking elite. Oh, my God. That, that shirt is so special to me because Molly began my my dive into um, lesbianism. I loved Mighty Molly. She was amazing. Mighty Molly is my Mighty Mommy. <laughs> <clears throat> she was Molly Holly. She was the fake sister of the of hardcore Holly. And then Do Crash you know, Holly. Do you know what Doug Jones was also in? What? Mystery Men. He, he was, was Pencil Mystery Men. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was Pencil Head. And then uh, Dane Cook was was uh, the Waffler. Dane mm-hmm. Cook. Yeah, Dane Cook was in that. Fucking Dane Cook. <laughs> Fucking Dane Cook. Like a decade before anybody knew who he was. Yeah. Isn't he a comedian? Yeah. I hate him. He He's the one that, he talks, he talks like this. I loved he, Dane Cook because he was really funny despite the fact that he never said a single punchline. And he goes, he was ow, just telling ow. he was just telling stories in a funny way and I'm like, okay, I can't be a stand-up comedian, but I can do that. Yeah. yeah. I can tell a story in a funny way. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, bunny, yes. that and that is what the shape of water is about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> This has been a wonderful episode of the Pope on Film, a very special Aww. episode of the Pope on Film. I'm okay. very, I was, I'm very, very happy to have to hey. have had you guys here. Yes, to it's help fun. me out. Ask me. You should have been, you should have been here earlier when, uh, when we were talking about why Leonard Skinner is racist. Yes. Leonard, why, why is that even a question? Who's yeah. Leonard Skinner? He's a white country folk. Who's Leonard Skinner? It, they're Sweet a band. They're a band. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that song is so popular that Rick and Morty are in an alternate universe of giants, but then they find a tavern inside of a step with a bunch of mythical creatures and, and weird, bizarre aliens. And, and yet they have a karaoke machine that plays Sweet Home Alabama, oh and everyone's okay with that because that's how popular this stupid Sweet racist song is. <laughs> Next week... On yes. the Pope on Film podcast, we will be discussing the movie Wally. <gasps> or I should say, I will be trying to discuss the movie Wally while Natasha will be screaming. Yes, okay. Can I also get in on this one? Absolutely, absolutely. Hell yeah! Next week, we're also going to be talking about Black Panther. We're going to be talking oh, about um, uh, podcasters and weapons. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Natasha as a serial killer. Another Steve's historical approximations will be dealing with Native Americans and gender. And remember, homework next week is Donald Trump and the full pilot episode of the 1978 sitcom Space Force. Okay. Space Force. I just want you to know now that I'm about to become a regular <coughs> on the Pope on Film. That is absolutely fine. That's is absolutely, absolutely fine. fine. That is absolutely fine. Awesome. I have no we problem have a with that. This has been special Destiny and Deanna talk about their sex life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then can yeah, we have it on a side series? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's Call absolutely it D-D-double-D. fine. Double D. You know, you're Be- gonna learn a whole lot of kinks. <laughs> you know, Belle already has her podcast. So. Yeah, really. What yeah. does she talk about? Uh, Whatever the hell her and Jeannie talk about. In between the first break, uh, Jeannie and Bella talk about whatever they want to talk about. Nice. Yeah. So we have second second break space. Can we yeah. call ours D and D? <clears throat> yeah. Because it's D and not talk about yeah. D and D at all. Never yeah. talk about yeah. D and D. D and D. And never, and never ever bring it up. Yeah, yeah. That's a good First concept. That's a good pitch, guys. Later. That's a good pitch. Don't talk about D and D. So that is next week on the Pope on Film podcast. D&D. But now, looking back at this week, looking back at this episode that we've had, we've had laughs, we've had tears. I gotta <laughs> say, now that I'm looking back at it. This has been a pretty damn good episode. <laughs> this has been an excellent episode. Ooh, yeah. I thought I might get a damn, but instead I got an excellent. So until excellent. next week, I am Bunny Williams. And I am Reverend Steve saying thanks for listening. And on behalf of Natasha, Bella, Eleanor, Deanna, Destiny, and all the other cast of characters. I just want to say thanks for listening, and we will see you next week, you godless heathens. Skitty bop a doo wow. Okay, she's holding a weapon. Cut and print. <laughs>